ngàn dặm xa chàng ơi đã có cùng ta phòng tay một thuở thân ngà ấp yêu if you practice the quaning meditation way with me it's not a high demand to just ask you to be vegan and meditate one tenth of your time every day that's a tithing it's not about money that God's talking about the tithing is not about money it's about your time so that you can continue to sustain yourself in such a troublesome world so you can balance your life and you don't fall so that you can go back to your real home in heaven after you finish your duty or mission in this life or even just to have a pleasure to check out this world you have to keep the rules in order to live well here and go home after like if you have money you have you know holiday time you can drive your car or you can go by airplane you can live in a tent or you can live in a hotel and go to the beach and enjoy all that but why you have all these rights and privileges that the hotel people offer to you and serve you like kings and queens you can't destroy their property there maybe they have parrot people in the hotel you can kill them yes you can uh, destroy their beach or ruin their coconut trees any of the beach uh, lounge and chairs or anything that belongs to them you have the right to use them to share with others but you don't have the right to destroy what you destroy you pay for yeah and if you don't have money to pay then you must go to jail you see similarly in this world you're on holiday here you have to be good some people don't want to go to a, a big uh, country or a posh uh, beach front hotel or anything but they want to go on holidays by themselves boating bicycling climbing mountains or walking on the path in the forest and all that they have the right to do that but they can't destroy anything on the way so similarly some people came down to this world became rich became famous some people came down to this world and became just middle class family members or even poorer family members it's because it's something they have chosen that makes them that way Not everybody comes down from heaven choosing to be rich, famous, and loved, or to be president. This world has only like 200, 300 uh, regions. We have billions of people. Not everybody can be president. Not everybody can be rich and be served and uh, have all the boats or the yachts in the port. Where can you park them? Oh, so we just have to agree with each other before we come down that we want to do this, want to do that, but nobody minds. They can just pick what they like and even pick some job that they will do, you know, because each one has to do something. If everybody is rich and just sailing on a yacht all day long, who is going to serve to take care of the engine and clean the yacht for the millionaire, billionaire, huh? And who will take care of the beach? who will say, oh, take care of the fuel that will be pumped into the yacht so the yacht can function? Yeah, all kinds of things. Who will clean the beach, you know? So when they come up, it's all pleasant. And who will clean the streets so that they can walk when they leave the yard to go on land? Who will grow vegetables and fruits for them to go and purchase? Who is going to make a restaurant and work in restaurant for them to eat? Each one has to do something. If we do all that for each other, this world should be a clean, wholesome paradise for adults and children as well, to have a good place, a clean environment, a healthy air, and beautiful things to enjoy and to look at. Huh? You don't know, being a rich and famous person is not always good fortune. 
Look at how many presidents are assassinated or are attempted to be assassinated by some other people. It takes only one or two people or maybe a small group to bring down a president or a king, queen. Yes. Uh, nowadays, we have too many things and we forget God. That is the problem. We can enjoy, but don't forget God. Huh? Don't forget God who provides all this for us and has taken care of us since the day of our birth already. We forget God, so we run in all kinds of opposite directions. Anything that's against God that we follow, because it seems short-sightedly fun or different, but it's not as fun as if you know God and know the world inside while living in the world outside. You can live in two worlds, heaven and earth, and enjoy both if you know how. And it's not that difficult. For example, if you take up the Kuan Yin method, you meditate two and a half hours a day. It doesn't have to be all in one go, maybe morning some, nap time some, evening some, and at night some before sleep. And you just denounce all the killing products you know, other murdered products like animal people's meat or fish people's flesh, anything to do with living beings. God has allowed and tolerates us to eat all kinds of vegetables and fruits, even though some of the fruits and vegetables do feel pain. But it's a minimum punishment, almost nothing. If we eat a vegan diet, no harm to other kicking, living, breathing beings, then you are all right. At the end of your life, you will go enjoy heavens. And maybe you don't ever want to come back to this world again. Even if this world will be made into Eden, if you know the real heaven inside is a real world, you will never want to set foot here again. That's why I ask you to thank all the masters, meaning Buddhas, Imams, gurus, mullahs, etc. You know, in different countries, they call the masters different names, different titles. Like before, when Lord Jesus was born, his name was Jesus, but his title was Christ. The Buddha, before he was born, the title Buddha was for him after, for those like him who had attained complete enlightenment and can help others. Not everyone who attains complete enlightenment can help others because of the affinity, like the Buddha, who has been Buddha for, oh, whenever you can never even count it on the greatest computer machine. But he has to come back again and again into the human's world or even some kind of heavenly world as the Dharma will turning king of heaven and come down as a normal human in order to so affinity with other humans who are still mired in ignorance, so as to keep connected with them, with their soul. And then when his time comes, he can become Buddha, saint, or lower status than a Buddha to help them through this affinity, you see. So it's not like you say you're Buddha and you think you're Buddha, then you are Buddha. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> There's nothing more incredulous than that, nothing more silly, nothing more stupid than that. So please stop it, yeah, whoever you are, whether you are initiated by me or any other masters, stop this nonsense. Whoever becomes master, if it's by God's appointment, by God's will, and will be announced by God and all heavens, all the universe will know it, and you will know it, like the Buddha knew it, like Jesus Christ knew it, like many other masters knew it, like the master of the Baha'i faith, yes? Like Master Zoroaster, like the Jain masters, they all had to practice very hard first anyway. And there have been Buddhas, masters and gurus since time memorial. And if they became a Bodhisattva in one lifetime, then it's their choice. Just like the Buddha also became even a saintly deer. But he was not a deer, even saintly deer. He was a Buddha long, 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 ever long already. Ever since the universes enter into existence. 
That's why I told you that you have to thank, bow to, and praise all the masters because they sacrifice their holy status, their sacred, blissful life in order to come down and mingle with the suffering people in the world in order to help them. We can never thank them enough. They are bigger than any universe put together. I can never thank them enough. But you see, the more you practice, the more you will realize that. I do not blame you if you do not understand yet what is the real meaning of being a master, of being a Buddha. It's not like a diploma. Everybody going to one uh, college and getting them together. And even if you get the diploma, you have um, A, B, C, D, or F, huh? yeah, failed. The majority of humans who come down, even with good intentions, will fail. Because you are not in heaven. And because you are in human form, and you have not been trained life after life, like Sakyamuni Buddha, Jesus Christ, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Sikh Guru, Nanak, the Jain Master, Lord Mahavira, for example, then you fail very quickly, very miserably. That's why we always have more and more humans and all falling together like that. Any master who comes, anybody who does work will be slandered. You don't know how much I have been slandered over these years, privately or openly. But the masters knew already, have to bear it. Even not talking about masterhood or anything yet. Tình đã xa mời Ôi